Hi, uh, I'm Arno Lot. Uh, I work as an agile consultant and a trainer for a company called Turkey Engineering. I've been spreading the word about SAFE for the last four years in Switzerland. My first challenge, uh, which I'd like to share with you, is about getting the right rooms logistics in place and you might think hey that's common sense i need a room that fits 100 people i need some sandwiches or some food for them uh, at lunch and i need coffee but you will find out that common sense is probably not so common in business is a key success factor to pa planning is to make sure people actually eat together talk together have some time to to socialize outside just to work and like for everything else make no assumptions or verify any assumptions that you have to make sure it happens early enough and you're prepared. Okay, so your second challenge uh, you will be faced uh, is around content. And I've, I have two challenges about content. The first one is getting your briefings at the beginning of the PI planning ready and to the point. You need to find the right people that is quite often easy, but then you need to get those people to talk about the right thing uh, and to be engaging. The whole point is to transmit some information that people m might not know or might not hear always about the business. So make sure they focus about the business. I had business owners or executives talk about little slow. That's not what you want. You want them to talk about the business. You want them to engage uh, their audience to, to really motivate them to actually go and do the work. What you want too is you want your briefings to be aligned. So you want everybody to have a, a red line across those briefings and you don't want people, the architect saying something that contradicts what the product manager said. So recommendation here is rehearse. So get the people together uh, get them to quickly walk through the presentation in advance so that it's a, it's a good experience and it doesn't take forever. Third challenge, again about content and probably even more important is getting your backlog ready. In the first PI plannings you will be hit with people who are coming from a project world so they think in web breakdown structures which they'll happily turn into features and that's not the point. You want to move people from a factory approach to something that's more like a creative workshop where they're actually stimulated to work together and they need to work together, which sometimes in a factory is not the case. You just get a number of screws to put into, uh, into a car and you put the screws in and you go home and uh, that's not what we want to have people in the end uh, and to get that change you need to change the way you fo you write your features and you write your backlog and that is a learning process for your product managers for your product owners which um, you want to start as early as possible yes you will still have in the first pi planning in the second pi planning in the third pi planning features which look more like tasks which look more like work breakdown structures but experiment, get your people to try it out so they actually um, see the value of it and the people doing the work see the value of it and are motivated to collaborate. Fourth challenge will be to get the people ready. Yeah. The category that you really need to spend the most focus on and to really make sure you have them well prepared are your Scrum Masters because they will be the people that make the success of your PI planning. They'll be working directly with the teams, making sure that they hold the time box, that they work on the right thing, the right level at the right time. So getting these people trained and briefed and briefed again and briefed again in the morning of the PI planning uh, is, is essential. Here again, don't assume they know everything because they've been doing Scrum for years. Verify, check with them, check that they understood, check that they know what's expected from them during the two days. 
The last challenge uh, I want to share in this one is about setting the business value. It's a key aspect uh, of decentralized decision making, which will help the teams during the PI, during the execution. It's a hard one. It's, it's an advanced thing. You need to set the expectation right. You need to train your product manager, uh, train your architect, train your business stakeholders, which probably won't have time for that. So you will have to do some freestyle uh, improvisation during the PI planning. Don't necessarily force it to be perfect. Uh, it's really about getting them a chance to learn in the first couple of PI plannings what it's good for, what it helps. And the value is not in just the figure. The value is in the discussion that you trigger. And that discussion will happen in any case. So experiment with it. Don't try and be perfect like for everything else.